My name is Kunrat Pasednet. I'm the Executive Director of the Manufacturing Circle, which is a corporate association of South Africa's biggest manufacturer. So uh, the biggest trends for uh, manufacturing in 2015 uh, will most probably depend internationally on um, the recovery of our uh, traditional export markets, uh, whether it's going to be sustained in America, which uh, is uh, showing promising signs at present, um, and then of course uh, whether Europe will regain its momentum in terms of recovery going forward. A big driver for the location of production internationally is proximity to markets um, and in that respect South Africa is in a very favourable position being next to uh, uh, significant markets in Africa which is going to show great growth on the back of 800 million people urbanising over the next um, 10 years. They require pots, pans, uh, security systems, uh, trolley doors, uh, security gates and so on, uh, which is stuff that we can make very competitively in South Africa with things that we take out of uh, the ground, out of our minds. So it's beneficiated products that we can supply um, to, to Africa. Uh, another big uh, driver for the location of production internationally uh, is of course energy prices. In that respect, South Africa is at a disadvantage at present as our en energy prices are increasing instead of going down as it is in many of the major manufacturing economies. A further driver will be the degree to which we can achieve labour stability in South Africa. Um, there is some promising signs there, but there is again uh, threats of strikes and next year, which always impact uh, again uh, on the demand that we experience in our domestic market for South African manufactured products. Finally, uh, the degree to which we will be able to promote access uh, to markets aside from our traditional export markets, such as African markets to which there are still very many um, uh, uh, obstacles to entry, um, and such as the BRICS markets, uh, to which we experience uh, many red tape barriers and tariff barriers. Um, that will uh, also drive to a great degree the ability at which we can grow our volumes and so become more competitive. Well, South Africa has got a great reputation for manufacturing precision products of high quality uh, that we can supply reliably, uh, that we won't reverse engineer the products that we, that we manufacture and the fact that we speak English uh, it makes it easy uh, for many of our international export markets to deal with us. Uh, but there are significant uh, competition uh, emerging uh, from uh, African markets um, uh, who have discovered industrial policy and are now implementing it to a great degree. There are, for instance, companies that are considering, um, uh, considering uh, locating their production in countries like Botswana, uh, in East Africa, Nigeria, in South Africa itself, our neighbouring economies such as um, uh, Swaziland, for instance, offer uh, much cheaper labour rates um, and also cheaper electricity rates. And there are smaller manufacturing outfits in Mpumalanga and so on that have, that have moved there. Uh, we uh, still do better quality than the Eastern Europeans. Uh, we are in many respects uh, more reliable with precision work um, than the Chinese. So we still have certain competitive edges but uh, it's, it's an area where we will have to uh, keep on working towards becoming even more competitive.